and moving again. A common question I get is why do I move all the time? So a lot of time leases just come up and it's time to go. That being said, this time around I actually just found an apartment that I like a lot more. So the last place I lived was a three bedroom house which was a lot of space just for myself. So I moved here to downsize and this place is a two bedroom apartment which I realized is still too much room. So we are downsizing again to a one bedroom apartment. Not only would it be nicer to downsize and have less stuff and just have less clutter and stress in my life, but this new place is also just a better layout for my dog so I can throw his toys. So as you can tell, my apartment is messy. Here is what it's looking like. Copious amounts of laundry, a copious amount of ginger, hair in a beer can, a deconstructed living room. Why? This, at least someone's comfortable. I don't know how I'm not embarrassed. Literally this plant has been dying here. So first off, I'm gonna declutter and just clean off the surfaces. Then we're gonna go into the drawers and stuff, but we're literally gonna hit every single part of this apartment. So we're gonna get very intimate because you're gonna see literally everything I own. So now let's fold this laundry. It's funny because this looks like a setup. Like it looks like I made it extra dirty for this video. Hope you love time lapse. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to use this. Thank you, ColourPop. A huge living proof stand. First, we have the Restore Perfecting Spray. Frizz Vanishing Oil. Five in one styling treatment. I literally don't own a hairspray, so I'm excited for this one. Thanks, Living Proof. A box of makeup soil for my plants. I'm gonna go ahead and refill any of my pots that need extra soil. Whoa! Consolidated some dog toys. I got rid of some, don't tell Ken. This is pretty much everything I'm gonna take to my new apartment, minus this couch. I ordered a new couch. Okay, now let's go through the kitchen cabinets. Now for the dreaded kitchen drawer. Honestly, I'm not sure how much better this is gonna look. Then we have this bottom drawer. So right now we have the bedroom to work on. This is what it currently looks like. I definitely could have been cleaner, but I knew I was gonna film this video, so I was like, no, I don't need to throw away that can of Alani new next to my bed that's been there for four days. But honestly, this isn't too far from like the usual. <laughs> Wow, it is looking so plain in here now. I went ahead and got rid of a bunch of stuff that I won't be bringing to the new place, which includes like the picnic baskets that were in that corner. I'm gonna go ahead and do the contents of the closet later on tonight. This is actually vile. Let's get to it. a million times better than I thought it would. Countertop looks even more atrocious now.
to get my hair extensions removed. Um, I'm gonna get them put back in tomorrow. But I'm gonna have a little moment in this video where I will have no hair. And then we have the office, which looks absolutely wonderful right now. for the closet. This is the left side and this is the right side. The bottom is not that organized. Okay, let's go. Let's begin right now. Uh, I almost forgot I had this little jewelry holder, but I really don't think I use it. So I used to wear her all the time. I don't know why I stopped, but I just did. So we're gonna send her off. Send it on. That one's for you, Remy. She's new, she's cute, we're gonna keep her. She's new, she's new. This one pisses me off. I'm literally not gonna have clothes after this. This top I bought, I think it's cute. I never wear it, I've never worn it once. She's a going out top, I'll keep her. She's also done. Now this top I wore to the last monster truck show and I really don't see myself wearing it again. I try to go for the most obnoxious fashion when I go to these. This one, my goddamn nipple keeps falling out every single time I wear it but I do wear it a lot. Lived a long life. She's done. That's a good bit of stuff. I need to go through here because I probably have underwear from like 2012 in here. It's probably been through so many men. this but this is what I'm getting rid of what I'm keeping which is not a lot okay so this is my second closet so I'm gonna go through these jeans and try them on because it's the only way I'll know if I actually want them if they do not fit I am gonna get rid of them if I think that I can lose weight to fit in them in the future I will not so I will get rid of them we're just gonna throw them away we'll, we'll donate them so I feel like I've never seen these jeans in my life. I don't know where they came from. I like them a lot, so I'm definitely gonna keep them. <laughs> They're really baggy, really comfy. We will keep these. This used to be one of my favorite jeans, and now I just despise them. <laughs> I wanna like these, but I just don't. These are just weird. I have a feeling I won't ever wear this. I have too many pairs of jeans and they all fit great. <laughs> Look at the butt. I would literally buy these today if I saw them. So this is everything I've gotten rid of and here's what is left of my jeans. So it's not officially moving day, however, I'm gonna get a head start. We have officially eight days to get out of this apartment, which isn't a lot considering I still have absolutely everything here. So it's time to get going. So let's pack up my car. Okay, here we go. Oh God, this is already so heavy. It is the next day now. I'm getting my lashes done today. Last night I packed a few more boxes. The sun is coming in strong, but we got some boxes packed. We have most of the kitchen packed, except for like my coffee that I still wanna make tomorrow. Ooh, I need to pack that. This is empty. I'll still be needing those for the gym. She's empty. So now I'm just going to real quickly clear off everything else in the kitchen and move on to the living room. <laughs> Tape that doesn't make noise when you roll it out. 
now I'm gonna attempt to pack all of this. I think I'm gonna use random clothing as cushion because I don't wanna go and buy a bunch of bubble wrap that I'm not gonna use again. And then I'll be able to pack my clothes as well. So hopefully there'll be enough cushion. Here's a mold of my boyfriend's teeth. Aren't they so cute? I'm obsessed. Hopefully I won't be needing more underwear because I am packing that now. workout snack. I just have a protein and my supplements, which is a lot. I usually have regular protein powder, but I accidentally packed it. I just got this from the gas station. It's got pretty good macros. Better than a landlord. Day. Excuse the large tripod. Also hair washing day. It is now time to pack both bathrooms and my guest room slash office. Am I the only one that finds packing like very fun? the state of the living room. This one probably looks the craziest. This is the office. And then over here we have the bathroom, which I'm gonna bring all of this stuff by myself. And then we have my bedroom, which looks really sad. And lastly, the bathroom. Um, fun fact, I packed all of my underwear and I haven't been wearing underwear for like three days and it's pretty freeing, I gotta say. And you guys are ready to go. I'm having my friend Matt pick me up and we're gonna go to Home Depot, grab a truck, and then we're on the move. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video right here because the next video will be my empty apartment tour and moving in vlog. So thanks for watching this video. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!